What's up, party people? Today, I want to talk about my Crespo hard mode rework experience, kind of what I think of the update, and uh, how running this new dungeon has gone for me. Uh, right off the bat, I am not super happy with how it was done, but, you know, we can discuss it. So yeah, let's uh, first take a look at the update post, and then I will show you my unsuccessful and successful runs of this reworked dungeon. Okay, guys, Crespo Treasure Renewal. So basically, they're trying to make it easier to get the MC3. That's the idea of um, kind of what this update was supposed to do, I believe, in my opinion. Uh, so basically, what they did is they took this dungeon and they dumbed it down a bunch. They removed a bunch of parts of the dungeon. They removed the beginning section. They removed um, the section here when you were going from the second section to the secret room. Um, but... Or not the secret room. It doesn't take you to the secret room. I think it... I don't know. This map confuses me. But they took out a bunch of sections of it. They, they took out a bunch of sections of it uh, and to make it easier. And they also reduced the dill. Now, the dill thing was a big issue because it would get really expensive to continue running the dungeon. But as you can see now, the max cost it's ever going to cost you now is 3.5 mil. And there's more dill on the server now. So now the dill cost is not bad at all. So I am pretty happy about that. Um, in general, all the items have had their drop rates completed, or I'm sorry, uh, increased, and I can confirm this with the runs that I have finished. Um, they, uh, they have definitely been, they have definitely been increased. I'm seeing a lot more drops, uh, which is really nice and should hopefully make it easier for people to get the MC3. Um, in addition to that, IAD's quest is supposed to be more generous now, and it is no longer a daily quest. You can just continue to take the quest over and over again. Um, so, yeah, that's great. Um, what they say is this, uh, this isn't a completely free ride. Some monsters are denser, meteor traps have been added, and all monsters, many of the bosses, have been getting a boost. Um, so you still need to earn it, but the trial will now be shorter, fiercer, and hopefully more exciting. Yeah. So, now let's talk about what was actually happening in the dungeon and the issues that I have with it. Alright guys, let's talk about this dungeon and why I'm kind of annoyed with it. To start off with... One of the biggest things that annoys me, as you'll see here, is the new falling rocks during the final boss. Now, these falling rocks were a part of the dungeon before. However, what you could do is you could break the rockfall generators in order to prevent these rocks from spawning. Now, there's no option to break the rockfall generators, and during the final boss, the rocks are consistently falling on you. And it's annoying because they hit 60 to 100k, depending on what you're wearing and, you know, various other randomly generated things that I'm sure I don't understand. And yes, you can kind of dodge them. You can. You you can kind of walk and you can kind of dodge them, but at least for me it's very frustrating because I have a really hard time seeing the actual circles that appear on the floor. They pop up, they're big, they're small, they all pop up at once, and a lot of times it's hard to actually see where a safe place is to stand. Now, don't get me wrong, I have no issue with dungeon mechanics. I like dungeon mechanics. Dungeon mechanics are fun. I love, like, you know, you take, like, Elder Scrolls Online. I love that game. All the dungeons have super in-depth mechanics where you have to, like, you know, avoid big AoEs, you know, avoid falling rocks, just like this. But you can clearly see where that is going to be. And Decron, it's just, it's never been good. It's never been good, and even right now, it is still bad. Honestly, if they would just fix the dang visual display for the falling rocks, I would have way less of an issue with this. But... You know, they haven't. So, yeah, you have to deal with these falling rocks. Now, one of the first things I noticed is a lot of people were like, oh, just tank the rocks. And I'm like, okay, cool. Well, guess what? I'm not chilling with 150k plus HP with a way to very rapidly heal myself. I'm just not. I have, yes, I have Divine Cure. I can use that. I can heal myself. But that works once. But if I have to tank two falling rocks in a row, I'm pretty much dead. So that doesn't work very well. Now, yes, you can just go and stand in the very top right corner of the room. And... That is what I had to do in order to successfully do a uh, run where I didn't die. You would go with your party, stand in the top right of the room, and have a sec. Basically then, you can chill there. You're not going to get hit by the rocks as much since they randomly spawn. However, you still can get hit by two in a row. But if you have a seg and your HP is high enough, you can stay alive. But that's just, like, like that's just dumb. That That's a terrible mechanic for the dungeon. Why? You just got to stand in the top right to, like avoid the rocks that are hitting you because you're just trying to, you know, 
randomly get hit by them less? I don't know. I just find it dumb. I just think the actual mechanics in the dungeon should be better, or they should still give us the ability to destroy the rockfall generators. Now, you're saying, okay, cool, you know, if you're like max gear, this is super easy. Well, yeah, no duh. I can easily go drop on my, or jump on my black wizard. I've got a bunch of HP. I do a bunch of damage, and it would be no problem at all. But that's not the point. The point is, this dungeon, the purpose of this dungeon is to farm the MC3, right? So, if you are a player and you are trying to farm your MC3, this is the dungeon that you should be farming, right? Well, if you don't already have an MC3 with a very high HP pool, you are going to have one hell of a time farming this dungeon. It is not going to be easy to stay alive at all, and you're just not going to be having a good time. It doesn't make any sense. The like actual difficulty of the dungeon does not line up with the actual players that would be farming this, which are players that need to farm their first MC3. Like myself, on this account, I don't have an MC3. If I had one, guess what? It would make the dungeon easier because I would have a higher HP pool. Just throwing that out there. Now, the other thing about this dungeon that I'm a little upset about is the fact that they removed the underground skull random box from completing the dungeon. Now, why does this matter? This was in there so that you could have a alternate way of farming the Perpetus. Now, this was an event that happened back in, back in March of 2018, but they never actually removed the event from the game. So the game has or this event has been in the game for over a year and a half, and it's been a way for people to farm their Perpetus. But now, just out of nowhere, they decide to remove it. And honestly, it's probably just because they didn't even know it was there. And it's just, it's lazy, and it's annoying, and it's just as bad as that dumb circulation Argate. Um, bug that they removed and they should have just left it in the game at this point because it's already been integrated in the game for over a year and a half I mean the circulation area thing was even more than a year and a half. It was like two years It's like just leave it just leave it because now all you're doing is giving players an unfair advantage in the past compared to now Like you know just make it a part of the game. I don't I don't get why it's a problem I don't get why it's a problem. It's not like you're losing money on it. Just just leave it seriously I don't know guys so I was very excited for this update. I really was. I was extremely excited because I knew that there was going to be an easier way to farm the MC3. But after seeing how it was implemented and for, the, for players to realistically farm their MC3 if they don't already have one, I just think it's bad. I do. I'm not, I'm not impressed with this at all. I think the way they decided to do it was terrible. Um, at least there will be more MC3 ingredients running around in game now. I am happy about that. Um, because the players who can farm it, that already have their MC3s, can sell the supplies, I guess. But it's silly, because you should be able to farm it if you don't have one already. Like, I don't know. It's just, it's silly. Um, and the quest now is supposed to have a higher chance of giving you the MC3, so I guess that's good. Um, yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I have anything else to say about this dungeon, other than just for the most part... Uh, I am just, I am very disappointed with how the, uh, the final boss is implemented here. Like, you, you can't break the Rockfall Generators, so you have to deal with them, so it basically means that you have to have a seg. And I don't mind party play, guys. I don't mind party play. But my thing is, okay, so now I need to either A, make another seg, or B, just pray that there's a seg around in game. And guess what? The population of the game isn't going so well right now, so the fact that you have to have a certain class in the dungeon with you when you're trying to run this to farm your item... Uh, it's just, it's just annoying. It's annoying. It's not fun. It's like, why can't they just release a dungeon that's fun? Why can't you just release a fun piece of content that's good to farm? I don't understand why there always has to be something that's either unrealistic or super annoying about it. But yeah, don't worry guys, because I'm sure the MC3 random box will be back in the D shop because they don't want us to play the game anyway. They just want us to spend. Have a good one.